down here at the Shepherd's Farm today just really to see the, the fruits of the last 10 years work that's been done here uh, and maybe acknowledge the effort that all the different stakeholders here have had. So AVP have been here for 10 years now, we're working in partnership with the family. Uh, we've seen huge change on the farm over the 10 years, probably in line with what we've seen in the industry. And part of the vision here really was to use data, benchmarking, best practice to try and demonstrate to farmers across the country, particularly our own farmer supplier network, uh, what is possible on uh, beef finishing farms. And this, this farm here, as you see today, is a, is a fantastic example of what's possible. We're very happy to be uh, here today uh, celebrating the 10 years of the, on, the, on the Shepherd's Farm. It's been a very, very good collaboration for us uh, working with ABP. They're really keen on getting good quality data from uh, buying the cattle uh, based on CVV as, as calves. Uh, lots of weight data. We're getting, uh, we have green feed data here at grass. Um, it allows us then to take those animals and that's a subset of those animals into Tully where we can get green feed data in the finishing system. We get the slaughter data, meat eating quality. So we're able to get a really, really good quality data right through the system, which just validates the science and makes sure that we're working with the best possible science all the time. And we've been working with ABP for the last 10 years and I suppose particularly interested in this farm here from a genetic point of view. Fertility has improved, the dairy herd has grown, sex semen has become available. So there's a lot more beef calves now coming from the dairy herd. Our focus has been to breed more profitable beef calves from the dairy herd. We're using the DBI as a tool now to allow us to select better beef calves. But long term, what we want to do is get better sires being made available to dairy farmers. We've worked really well with ABP over the last 10 years on evaluating those sires. We're, we're very proud of the Advantage Beef Programme. We're, we're into our fourth year, I think, now at this stage, uh, and we have built up a great supplier network there. But I mean, the information that we do generate here, it's open to everybody, to be honest. We're not, we're very transparent with what we have. Uh, we're certainly open to be critiqued and questioned and challenged on everything that we do here. But thankfully, a lot of the work we have done has paid off in showing the gains we can make from a productivity point of view that can be done on any farm nationwide. Um, every farm we understand has different circumstances, but you can see here yourself today, this farm has plenty of challenges like most farmers have, um, but we've been able to demonstrate through using the data you talk about, accessing the technology, particularly from our perspective, working with ICBF and the genotyping, uh, looking at genetic merits, that's an area where there's still huge potential for the Irish beef industry, ultimately which we think will add to profitability for farmers.